Okay, in this short video, we're going to talk about the equivalence between a cross product and a skew symmetric um, uh, matrix or operator. Or tensor, uh, whatever your perspective is. Uh, okay, so consider uh, sort of in this course, uh, we're going to have uh, expressions of the following form all the time, specifically where omega is angular velocity, but the following relationship is not particularly true just for. Um, uh, angular velocity, but for any such truss product, consider this quantity, um, which is a vector with, let's say we represent omega and g in some coordinate frames. Let's say we have omega x, e x, plus omega y, e y, plus omega z, e z. Okay, so in some x, x y, z coordinate frame, um, and g, is so let's say gx ex plus gy ey plus gz ez okay um and then uh, let's uh, expand this out let's say omega cross g equals um if you expand it out we will see the following um so of course you can do this your classical cross product rule, right? So, and um, it uh, you can show that that's equal to e x times omega y gx minus omega, um, sorry, gc, omega z, g, y, plus or minus, doesn't matter, um, minus e, y, um, omega x, uh, so e y times this times this minus this times this. Then plus e z. Um, e z this times this minus this times this. Omega y, uh, omega um, x g y minus omega y g x. Okay, um, so if you wanted to, um, so let's say this is frame. In frame zero, let's say some frame. In any case, um, so the representation of G in frame zero um, is gonna be this quantity omega y G Z minus omega Z G Y minus omega x g z plus omega z g x and then plus omega x g y minus omega y g x 
Okay, so that's just writing these three components in, in um, component form. And that's going to be equal to, sorry, I should have said um, Let's say this is actually a vector, <coughs> excuse me, vector f, and uh, this quantity is actually the vector f in uh, the frame zero. Um, in any case, uh, we can rewrite this thing as gx, gy, gz, and then notice that uh, these things are linear in G and also linear in omega. Uh, so the linearity in omega can be sort of captured in this matrix. Omega Z, omega Y, and then uh, W omega X and omega Z have minus G Z minus plus G X um, as the, um, uh, coefficients. I, uh, I guess I must have said uh, gx has coefficient omega z and gz has coefficient minus omega x and gy has coefficient 0 here. Similarly here omega x has coefficient gy sorry um, gx has coefficient om minus omega y gy has coefficient um, omega x and uh, gz has coefficient zero, okay? Okay, so what we have done is essentially converted this cross product into this matrix times g. Uh, because this cross product is linear in omega, we were able to write, transform this into um, a linear transformation, which is basically the three by three matrix times the coefficient of g uh, in this coordinate frame. Uh, if you notice this matrix, this matrix is um, what someone would call, what we would call a skew symmetric matrix. Okay, it's a skew symmetric matrix uh, because it's got the property that the coefficient, the uh, elements, the off-diagonal elements, uh, have pairs. So th if this is omega x, this is minus omega x. If this is omega y, this is minus omega y. It's omega z is minus omega z. Um, and uh, essentially, the, the symmetrically sort of reflected coefficients or, or elements are negatives of each other, and then the diagonal elements are zero. So what is the skew symmetric matrix? Uh, a symmetric matrix uh, means that A equals A transpose. A skew symmetric matrix implies A equals minus A transpose or A plus A transpose equal zero and uh, if you take this relationship um, you will be able to show that this relationship implies that the diagonal elements are zero and the off diagonal elements have this anti-symmetry in other words um, so what is a, a plus a transpose um, this this implies uh, aii plus aii um, if, if you call this B, um, then BII, in other words, a diagonal element is going to be AII plus AII because the diagonal element of the transpose is also the same thing. That's equal to zero implies BII equals zero. And of course, uh, this also means uh, B. Bij is just a i j plus a j i, uh, and that's going to be equal to zero, which implies a i j 
equals minus AJI. Okay, so um, Okay, so uh, these are the relationships that are true for a skew symmetric matrix. The diagonal elements are zero after diagonal elements are anti-symmetric like so. And that's what this matrix is. Um, so you can think of uh, this cross product as uh, if, you, if you represent the vectors in coordinates in some coordinate frame, you can think of it as a skew symmetric matrix times the components of G. Um, alternatively, if uh, you are thinking of um, uh, the uh, cross product in uh, coordinate free fashion then you can think of it uh, as a this is called a skew symmetric tensor or something like this uh, which is a skew symmetric tensor um, based on this omega vector uh, operating on G, okay? So I guess we'll stop there for this video.